Yo, what's going on people? Check it out. We're back at it again with another lesson. I just want to ask you one question. Are your fingers weak? Do you have a weak fourth finger? We're going to fix that today. I'm going to show you an exercise to take care of that. So really quick, I'm going to show you this exercise. I'm going to play it all the way through, not say anything. And I want you to think about why this will help you with that fourth finger. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One more time. I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to let you see exactly what's going on. One, two, three. So as you can see, I'm utilizing all four fingers, but I'm alternating between the first finger, fourth finger, second finger, fourth finger, third finger, fourth finger, and just going down the strings. You can actually use a different pattern going down or descending this exercise, uh, and it's up to you exactly what you want to do. You can do the same exact thing. But you can actually switch it up a little bit and do three, four, two, four, one, four. So, so instead of one, two, three, you're doing three, two, one. So you're always alternating between that fourth note on that fourth fret or not fourth fret, but you see exactly what I mean. I'm using a one finger per fret rule. So on that fourth note, I'm always repeating that. So just think about playing three notes ahead of that. One, two, three, but always playing the fourth finger inside of each and every one of those. So you can switch it up. You can play three, two, one. You can play one through one, one through <laughs> one, two, three. It's really up to you, but you just want to go up and down this exercise. And the reason why this helps, like I said, I want you guys to think about why this will help. I'm having constant tension on that fourth finger. So I'll use the analogy that's relevant to me and just to tie this together, and it may be relevant to you as well, but I was working out in the gym for maybe about a year, lost about 80 pounds. Uh, so I know about working out, I know about the constant tension that you need to have uh, while building muscle. So I always use this analogy. So if you're thinking about building muscle, you wanna have that constant tension, say if you're doing some curls or whatever, it doesn't matter what you're doing, but on the way back down, they talk about the negative tension. You always wanna keep tension on the, the, the muscle or whatever you're doing at the time, shoulder press, chest, bench press, whatever you want to do, you want to keep constant tension in order for the muscles to grow. So with this exercise, we're using constant tension on that fourth finger to help it grow. So now if you do this over and over, maybe about maybe three times, you'll start to feel this burn. So that's really just increasing the strength of your fourth finger. And it's also a great dexterity exercise at the same time, utilizing the third, the second, and the first in between all of those and making sure each note is separated. You don't want, you want to make sure every single note is coming out and it's clean, clear, and precise. Like I always say, that's trademark, boom. Anyway, so we got one, four, two, four, three, four. All right, one, four, two, four, three, four, next string down, one, four, two, four, three, four. Next string down, one, four, two, four, three, four. On the way back down, you can do three, four, two, four, one, four. See that? Completely opposite, but still keeping that tension with the fourth finger. Keeping that constant tension. That's a great starter exercise to, for you to build your fourth finger or your pinky known as the weakest finger on your hand. And you want to be able to, you know, kind of maximize that or take advantage of the fact that you know that that's the weakest finger. So start using these exercises to help you build that muscle and just to become that much stronger. You want your, your fourth finger to be just as strong as your, your first finger, your index or your middle finger, whatever, you know, you get the idea. But anyway, make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear and precise. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you're coming here every single week and you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell. We're here every single week. Uh, love all of you guys for tuning in and watching this and hanging out with me. Uh, also, putting your questions or and or comments in the comment section. I love chopping it up with you guys down there. Anyway, make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. I think I already said that. And I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, for more like this, check out DerekBennett.com. The link is going to be in the description. Peace.